One of the most popular questions that people ask is what is the best type of palette to use for painting? There are so many options that you can use and I've just about trialled most of them. Whether this is a paper plate, a ceramic plate from the kitchen, a shop brought or wooden palette, or your home DIY palette. So after lots of research and trial and error, there's two palettes that I really like using. Before we jump into the glass palette that you can make from home, I'm going to show you an alternative. This is a small bit of MDF wood that I pulled out from some old drawers that I was throwing away. I've covered the top in some brown card to give the palette a cleaner look, and then cut some cellophane into the correct size and stuck this down with some sellotape. The cellophane accepts the paint really well and makes it easy to mix on. And then quite simply, once you're finished, just tear the paper off and throw in the bin. Since I now mostly work with oils, I prefer using a palette that's made of glass. It's long lasting, easy to clean and doesn't break the bank to make. There's actually only three things that you need to be able to make this palette. Grey paper, duct tape and a photo frame that you are able to remove the glass from. I bought this 12 by 16 photo frame that I found in one of our local shops. This frame cost me about £4. Once you've removed the glass from the photo frame, place it on top of the paper and trace around it. Follow the lines to cut the paper out and this will give you the exact size you need. The grey paper is going to give you a neutral background. Alternatively, you can use spray paint, however this is more costly. The edges of the glass can be quite sharp, so I opt for some black duct tape. This gives you that smooth finish on the edges, but also gives it a really nice look. Don't forget the back, it's equally as important as the front. The reason for this is because any wet substance, water, um, any medium that gets underneath is going to soak that paper and it's going to leak through. And then once I'm finished painting and I'm done with the palette, I scrape off the excess and then I use either some water or some turpentine and just scrub the palette nice and clean. And that is all there is to it. If this video is helpful, please like, share and subscribe.